and welcome back to Otaku No Video. I often get asked this question. So I want to get into Gundam, but uh, which Gundam should I start with first? That's a very good question. I'm going to give you four answers. If you can handle 70s animation and are willing to commit to a full 43 episode TV series, then I'd recommend going back to the one that started it all, Mobile Suit Gundam. This really is the series that all the other ones are calling back to. It's the one that introduces the most iconic characters and also goes through the prime central conflict of Gundam, the One Year War. It also has all the elements of Gundam, melodrama, a little bit of comedy, seriousness, action, everything is there. On the other hand, if you're not willing to commit to a long series and want something a little more recent, I'd recommend Gundam the 8th MS Team. This is a 10 episode OVA, or mini series basically, also set during the One Year War. 8th MS Team is only 10 episodes long, but still manages to hit most of the common tropes and elements of Gundam. It was also made with a high animation budget, by some of the same staff as Cowboy Bebop, so it looks beautiful. If, on the other hand, you're a younger fan, and I'm talking maybe 16 or younger, I'd recommend Mobile Suit Gundam Seed. Seed was made back in the 2000s, so it looks a little more flashy, it's a little easier on the eyes than original Gundam. And it also focuses a little more on the action and the melodrama than some other Gundam series. Seed will take you on a big epic journey through a story with a lot of different characters. So it feels a little closer to a Naruto or One Piece kind of scale of a story than some of the other Gundam stories that are a little more focused on smaller uh, conflicts. Seed is also set in its own universe, so it isn't calling back to any of the previous Gundam series events, although you will certainly see certain uh, tropes and uh, character archetypes uh, show up in Seed that are similar to those in other Gundam shows. If, however, you're an older fan and you're looking for a more serious Gundam series that deals with socio-political issues, I'd recommend Gundam Double O. This came out uh, only a few years ago, relatively speaking, and deals a lot more with current events and current issues in a Gundam universe. It is set in its own timeline, so you're not going to see references to past events that you're not familiar with, although there's a lot of backstory that uh, does get filled in over the course of the series. And it's fundamentally a more serious show aimed at a somewhat older fan than uh, your typical Gundam TV series. So that's what I recommend. Did that help? Yeah, yeah, thanks. That, that works.